Hello and welcome to the third in a series of brief video training tutorials for the shipping container home design software from containerhome.info. Now in this training tutorial we're going to look at navigation and by navigation we mean how do we move in and around our 3D virtual world. Now navigation is probably the trickiest part of our software. We've already looked at uh, color tool, we've already looked at the move function and the rotate function and these are fairly self-explanatory but navigation is perhaps the hardest part for new users of the software to come to grips with. Now there are two forms of navigation let's explore the easiest uh, form of navigation first and that's what we call walk mode and we can access walk mode by clicking with our left hand mouse button on the icon at the top left hand corner of the screen that looks like a little man walking and when we run our mouse over the top of this icon it little dialog box pops up and says walk tool so we'll click on that icon and it places us into walk mode Now, once we're in walk mode we can press on the forward arrow key to move ourselves forward in the scene we can press on the backwards arrow key uh, to go backwards and if we click on the right and the left arrow keys you can see we turn left and right in the scene. Now to get the most out of the walk mode we need to use a combination of moving ourselves forward in the scene and steering ourselves using the computer mouse and how we do that is we hold the right hand mouse button the right hand mouse button of the mouse we hold down and you can see then we can move the mouse and it moves our camera position just as though we were moving our head around and if we press down at the same time we can steer ourselves around our scene and I can walk around and I can expect things and you can see I can even walk through this shipping container I can turn around and I can walk back so walk mode is fairly easy to learn um, it's probably a great way to explore finished models but it's not a great way to build models because you're literally on the ground in walk mode. What we want to do to build models is use what we call view mode and view mode is the navigation mode that you're placed into by default when you open up a, a, a default or a new world and we can go back to view mode by clicking on the view tool icon at the top left hand corner of the screen and this places into, into view mode. So just bear with us here, we're going to explain how view mode works. Let's click on this uh, container, this 20 foot container module that we see in the middle of the scene with our left hand mouse button. And what this does is basically sets a pivot point in the scene at that location around that object. And if we hold our left hand mouse button down now and we move our mouse, you can see we can move around that pivot point. If I click on the the large 40 foot container, I'll double click on the container and what it does is resets our pivot point so I can again hold my left hand mouse button down and now I'm pivoting around the 40 foot container let's click on the 10 foot unit, double click it resets the pivot point to be that location so anywhere that we click on the in the scene we create a pivot point so let's double click on the ground just here that's now the pivot point for our scene so what we can do is use our mouse with our left hand, left hand mouse button to uh, move around. If we move the, um, if we hold the right hand mouse button down and push the mouse up, you can see we can move up into the air. We can use our scroll wheel to scroll out further. And moving around in view mode does take a few minutes to kind of get the gist of it, to get the hang of it. But after you get the hang of it, you realize that you can very quickly reset a pivot point anywhere in the scene by simply double clicking. And then we can zoom down on that location using our mouse. We can basically get in nice and tight. Let's click on this corner of this 20 foot container. We can zoom right in and get lots of detail out of that corner that's the location that we've set our pivot point to be you can see we're pivoting around that location so we do know that uh, using the view tool takes a few minutes to get used to but the reason that we've set the software up this way is once you come to grips with it it makes moving around the scene in building mode when you're actually constructing a virtual 3d world very very simple and very very fast to move around you can see I double click I double click I double click, I double click, it keeps resetting the pivot point for us automatically and anytime then I want to use my mouse I can pivot around 
and up into the air and down again around that pivot point. So that's a, a brief overview of uh, navigation in the shipping container home design software. My recommendation to you is you simply open up a, a new world. We can do that by simply going to File New. And you spend a few minutes both in walk mode and in view mode familiarizing yourself with how you navigate around a 3D world. Once you get the hang of it, you'll find that navigating is very quick and very simple and it ma makes constructing a virtual scene very, very easy. Okay, so that's it for training tutorial number three, which is navigating in a 3D world. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you join us for tutorial number four. Thank you for your time.